Okay, let's do a two minute overview of how to do awesome virtual broadcast studio kind of setups with real life camera footage coming in in real time, rendering in real time, all in Unreal Engine with some nice camera movements. You can see we've got reflections, got nice lighting, a nice studio. And let's just do an overview of how we do that. So firstly, this is all going on in Unreal Engine only, and we're using the Offworld Live live streaming toolkit as the composure part of that toolkit. And I'm using this awesome shared project that we're making, free downloadable project where you can and grab some levels like this. It's got configs, assets, resources, and levels that you can use to whip up your own virtual broadcast studios in no time. So I'm using that setup to load in this level, but if we hide this level here, this is the actual kind of composure setup that we've got going on. So what we're using is Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine's plugin Composure. And what Composure does is it layers, layers all of these layers together uh, as 2D layers to composite real people into 3D with awesome things like AR, CGI foreground elements, uh, nice reflections, and things like that. So the first Composure element you might want is a media player. Uh, this can be a real-time or pre-recorded media input and there's a load of options in Unreal Engine for types of input you can put in. With an input in here you can now use the transform passes and things to do a nice key of the green screen and do a nice bit of despill and maybe some erode and other more detailed keying effects. Now this media plate has a nice alpha channel, we can do more stuff with that. I'm pumping this out to this in CG media plate and then I'm also pumping it to this second composure element which is using our our video plane placement uh, effect which basically skews and sizes the media plate in 3D space so that you can then do digital uh, digital camera shots. So you can keyframe an awesome bit of camera movement and your talent is gonna stay in that place in 3D space. The next element we've got here is the Owl CG element. This is a really awesome CG element that picks up exactly what's going on in Unreal Engine with awesome global illumination, shadows, lighting, and post-process effects like Bloom. And it picks that up and pumps it straight into this Composure compositing area exactly as intended. So now you can load a 3D scene around your talent. To make your media plate sit inside the 3D scene a bit better, uh, you can do what's called AR elements, which is augmented reality elements, which means you're then laying CG elements back over the talent or media plate. So this layer, if you show it, you can see that the talent is now behind the desk. This is essentially just a black and white image that says, here's what the foreground is, here's what the background is. So there's other awesome things that are just hooked up right off the bat in this uh, shared project. Uh, and all you need to do is just load in your own media, load up your own level, and you'll then be composited into an awesome virtual broadcast studio. We've got other awesome tricks like pumping this render target with the alpha channel directly back into the 3D space to give you your reflections and shadows. And we've also got this handy blueprint actor here that makes the video plane always face the camera wherever it is to make sure your talent doesn't look too 2D from any angle. So that's a very, 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 very top-down overview of uh, what's going on in this shared project and how this is all comped together in terms of layers of your talent, your CG elements, and your foreground elements. But essentially, that's what we're doing to composite real-world people into CG in real time for live broadcast, all in Unreal Engine. So if you want to get more detailed and jump into actually using this, putting your own media into your own virtual spaces, then watch the next few tutorials where we go into a bit more detail of how to set this up yourself.